Hey everyone, it's Alex here from Carnivore for Life. Day 913 on my carnivore way of eating. Yes guys, I've been eating beef, butter, bacon and eggs mainly for <laughs> 913 days from the 1st of May 2022 to the 30th of October 2024. Life has changed so much since then. Life has changed so much for me and my family uh, since I started this way of eating. Uh, going great and uh, today's video is all about what's going to happen from the 1st of November. If you're one of my subscribers or viewers uh, or supporters, you'll know I did a playlist on my channel. Uh, I did the Lion Diet in November of last year. What a great success. And people will say, well, it was so successful, Alex. Why did you, why did you go back to the carnivore diet? Uh, I'm a human being. Uh, I love coffee. I love my eggs. I love bacon. I like a glass of wine or three. Um, wait, so I cut out beer during that time, and I must admit that was a. I must admit that was a good thing for me to do. Definitely made a difference. Went down to eleven stone two uh, UK. Uh, that's a UK measurement, isn't it? So I got down to 11 stone 2 in November last year. I'm up to 11 stone 7 now, but feeling fantastic. So how many pounds is that? 154, 156 pounds. So I'm 161 at the moment, and I just think that uh, it suits me. But uh, Michelle said to me, oh, I think you might be putting a few pounds on around your waist. That's probably the beer. And, uh, you know, as I say, I have a count. I have, um, I have documented my challenges over alcohol i've been drinking alcohol since i was <laughs> since I was 15 so that's 50 odd years isn't it my god and i just want to um get to the point now where i don't even think about it i don't even use it as a social social tool is that the right word so i'm gonna do uh, the lion diet again from the first november but with a twist with a slight twist can you guess what it is uh, well, the answer is I'm going to add eggs to it. So I'm going to have lion diet plus. Okay, so it's going to be steak and eggs, basically. I can't eat ground beef without at least bacon. Um, obviously, I'm not going to have bacon because the lion diet, but I need to have something with the ground beef because I'm not going to have steaks every day. So I'm going to have a good quality ground beef, 25% fat, and I'm going to add eggs to it, basically. So that'll break up the... Should we say the monotony? You can't call it monotony having steaks. Every, can't, have, can't, can't call it monotonous having steaks all the time. But uh, yeah, I'm going to um, add eggs to it. So, is it the lion diet? I think Michaela Peterson was the um, instigator of the so called lion diet. And uh, lions, you know, people say, oh, lion, lions don't eat ribeyes, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you know, it's got to be called something. And I think it's the most appropriate title for it. Um, so, yeah, so it's going to be lion diet. So the question to ask, guys, do lions eat eggs? Well, the answer apparently is that they do. Uh, I've been looking at footage on YouTube and on the internet, and mm. they seem to really like eggs a lot. I mean, I don't blame them because it's a multivitamin anyway, and it's not going to harm them. But, yeah, I think they – I've seen videos of them eating raw eggs and boiled eggs as well, or even scrambled, and it looks quite funny. So that's what it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to chronicle it. I'm going to put on daily videos – Hopefully, um, as you probably know, I'm st as you as most of my subscribers know, I'm looking after my dad at the moment. He's in early stages of dementia. He hasn't had it actually. Um, it hasn't actually been officially diagnosed yet. But he's having tests all the time, and you know, as I say, because I've known him for the last 55, but because I've known him for the last 50 odd years of my life, I know um, that guy is uh, really struggling. He's my hero, and I just want him to be well. But uh, we are having lots of challenges trying to help him. But, uh, yeah, he's a stubborn old bugger, as I always say. And uh, he's a stubborn old bugger, as I always say, but he's funny as well. He's got a very intelligent man, um, well-read, well-spoken, and uh, I just love him to bits. So, guys, um, tune in. Uh, I know you won't tune in every day, but give me some support if you don't mind. Drop some comments below. 
I'm going to give it my best shot. So there's not going to be any. So there's not going to be any coffee. There's going to be lots of water. I'm trying to look at buying um, an improved water filter machine. Uh, this reverse osmosis thing I'm quite fascinated by. So I'm going to have a look at that. So it's going to be water, uh, lots of ribeyes, lots of sirloin steaks. No coffee at all. I've said to Michelle, I'm not going to have any alcohol at all. I think we might have one occasion when we're going away uh, during uh, November. But I think it will probably just be sparkly wine or uh, a nice crisp Sauvignon Blanc. I know they're very low in carbs. And that will just help me temper. Um, you know, my I do get a taste for it. That's, uh, that's my little confession. That's my little alcohol confession. Uh, compared to how I used to be, I mean, I know Shell will endorse this. She will testify to this, that I am really pleased with what I'm doing. It's a journey, and um, like any addictions, you know, they are, they are hard to uh, overcome, especially in this day and age, shall we say. And, uh, yeah, guys, like most of the, obviously, all addictions, they are nice and quiet. They are a challenge, aren't they? Yeah, especially in this particular day and age we've got. You know, if, if you live in normal, is it normal, normal society? We're bombarded by all the technology. It's always around us. I haven't watched mainstream TV for years, but it's still all around us. And I don't even go to supermarkets anymore. I only shop at my local butchers. And uh, it does help me so much up here in terms of uh, the choices I make. Um, oh, yeah, one more announcement. I've just started yoga. This is my third week at doing yoga. And this yoga... Uh, thing I'm doing at the moment is really going to sort of help me with that. I'm looking at uh, where apparently we give off this frequency or this electromagnetic field. I'm, you know, I'm only a, I'm only a YouTube guy, but I'm really interested in it. And uh, again, guys, put your thoughts down about that. If you if you are on a similar path uh, or you're you know you're intrigued by all this, and it's really helping me with um, coming up to this first uh, November and starting the Lion Diet. You know. I will say, guys, that it's not easy. You know, we live we live a social life, don't we? And we are, for all my life up to, a, well, 63 and a half, I was, I was nearly 64, wasn't I, when I started the Lion Diet? It was a total revelation for me. Um, you've heard me say before, it was an epiphany. Um, I just, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I didn't know it was the carnivore diet at first. But as the weeks went by and my mental, my cognitive um, situation improved so dramatically and um, brain fog all the things I've documented before my health you know I was off the meds and, you know it was just life-changing for me and you know carnivore for life is an appropriate YouTube uh, title for me so getting dark in here right so I'm just going in to do my swim teaching now so yeah guys so I'm doing I'm doing my yoga I haven't bought a mat yet but Michelle's got a mat mine's mine's a bit plasticky and i'm sliding up and down it but i'm going to buy a mat for next week sophia knows delighted and i don't know whether you can tell guys but i'm so upbeat at the moment um i'm doing something else i'm doing something with the family <laughs> it's at kingsway leisure center as well hopefully we'll be doing it in the new center but i think i, I think i'm in ketosis today because i'm talking and talking and talking and i'm not doing any script so that'll be that'll be my little uh, youtube video about yoga so getting back to the lion diet so guys you're looking at uh, a carnivore who's going to be a lion for a month, a minimum of a month. I probably will venture back into my little habits in December, but I think and I'm trying to get rid of the coffee completely. Um, I'm going to hold my hand up. I do love it. I do I, I do buy all these coffees like uh, Ken Berry and uh, Nisha Berry. You know, they've got the Nespresso machine. I love all the gadgets. I love all the different flavors, but they are probably artificial flavors. So I've got to really look into this quite carefully. So guys, uh, I might put my lion image on as the YouTube. I've got a little uh, image of a lion eating uh, bacon. <laughs> I've got a little, li I've, I've got a little image of a lion eating steak and eggs as my YouTube thumbnail. Uh, so I hope you like it. So wish me luck. Um, as I say, I'll do daily or maybe by, is it? I'll do daily or I'll do every couple of days uh, updates on how I'm getting on, including the weight measurements. So I say I'm 11 stone seven at the moment, which is uh, 161 pounds. I think it's about 70 odd kilos. 
I used to be over 90 kilos. I used to be over 203 pounds in weight. <sighs> Never going back to that again. So guys, as I say, wish me luck. And uh, thank you very much for all your support as usual. You know how much I appreciate it. Please put comments down below. Um, if you are going to give any negative comments, as I, I usually get, guys, please make them constructive. And I, I will do my best to answer them politely because I am quite sarcastic. And uh, so, yeah, so I'll leave the video there. So wherever you are, uh, I hope you're well. And thanks for your support and take care. Thanks. Bye. So just a quick recap, guys. Um, what is the Lion Diet Plus or, or Lion Diet with a Twist? Um, basically, steak and eggs. We're just going past my new leisure centre, by the way. I start in February. So one of the main reasons doesn't look good. So that's the Halton Leisure Centre. One of the reasons I'm doing line is I want to get myself ready for the new... Um, I want to get myself ready for when we start the new sports centre. I've just got a permanent post as a swim teacher. And you know I'm going to say it. At the grand old age of 66, so I'm the oldest swim teacher in town. Probably in the country, actually. And uh, I'm absolutely delighted. So I've really got to get myself in, in shape proper shape for well first of all the new year and for when we start i don't want to be one of those teachers or the analogy i'd use is if you if your doctor is overweight and smokes and drinks and tells you that you need to cut out your cigarettes and and your rare uh, drinking and you need to lose 50 pounds you're with the wrong doctor and i don't want to be one of those swim teachers who stands there looking you know two stone overweight or 200 pounds overweight and the kids are going to be looking at me and go like what does he know and also, you know, you've got to be fit to be a swim teacher. You, you've got to have a, a life-saving award as well. So we do lots of training. And so, um, as I said today, you know, to my regular, um, was it my regular subscribers, I wear a medium top, um, medium shorts. I don't wear anything that's over medium nowadays. And to me, I just never thought that would ever happen in my 60s. Yeah, so on my way home, just to recap, Lion Diet Plus, it's going to be, Lots and lots of eggs, uh, possibly two meals a day maximum. So I'm going to hopefully do some intermittent fasting. I've got um, getting two ribeyes on Friday, picking them up, but that will not last me for the month. I'll probably have to get two large sirloins as well. Uh, the sirloins will be about six and a half kilos. The ribeyes are typically about three and a half to four maximum. Uh, but obviously, you get all the flavour with you get all the fat with the ribeye, and you get it with the get it with the sirloin too. It's like with a big fat cap, which I thankfully love. So nothing else. Uh, I'm going to do my best to get some decent quality water in terms of getting it filtered. No tap water, uh, no dairy. I'm not even going to have any yogurts. No uh, blueberries, which I have sometimes. No coffee whatsoever. I've told Michelle I'm going to cut out the alcohol, so we'll see how it goes on that. Um, yeah, no carbs, obviously no carbs at all. I'm going to go for a zero carb month, completely zero. Uh, no sweets, no desserts, no obviously no rice, pasta, etc. So guys, uh, wish me luck. On top of all this elimination, I'm adding yoga to my <laughs> to my um, carnivore way. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll do a, a, a video on yoga fairly soon. I'm starting to get used to all the different... Uh, techniques. Uh, I did a thing called a bind. I don't know whether you yoga guys know what that means, but I actually did one on my second and my third um, second and my third session, and the teacher was very, very sort of well done, Alex. You're doing really well. <laughs> Shocking myself, but yeah, everything's going really well.